In this video we're going to look at the Bethan question from Sparks. So we're told that Bethan writes each of the capital letters B, E, T, H, A and N on the coordinate grid below so that each point marked with a cross is labelled with a different letter. We're asked to work out the coordinates of each letter using the three clues that we've been given. So our first clue, the letters with a vertical line of symmetry have the coordinates 2, 1, 2, 2 and 3, 1. So which of our letters have vertical lines of symmetry? Well, that's going to be T, H, and A. So they can go in these three points. So 2, 1. So that could be T, H, or A. 2, 2. That could be T, H, or A. And 3, 1. That could be T, H, or A. OK, now our second clue, the letters with a horizontal line of symmetry all have a y-coordinate of 2. Well, which letters have a horizontal line of symmetry? Well, that's going to be B, E, and H. And they all have a y-coordinate of 2, so B, E, and H. So this one could be B, E, or H. This one could be B. E or H, and this one could be B, E or H. But we're told that this one here has to also have a vertical line of symmetry, where the only letter that has both a horizontal and a vertical line of symmetry is H, so this 2, 2 must be H. We're finally told that each vowel is on a point where the sum of the X coordinates and the Y coordinates is 3. So that means they could either be at 1, 2, or 2, 1. And the two vowels we got are E and A. So 2, 1, those are at 1, 2, we could have E or A, and at 2, 1, we could have E or A. Well, we've seen already that A can go here, and A, E can go here, they can't, E can't go here, A can't go there, so this one must be E, and this one must be A. So let's go back to these two points here, this 3, 1 and this 3, 2. Well, we said 3, 2 could be B, E or H. But we've already used B and, oh, sorry, we've already used E and H, so it must be B. And then if we look at 3, 1, where well, we said it could be T, H or A, we've already used H and A, so it must be T. And then the only letter we've got left that hasn't been put on a point yet is N. So N must go on this 1, 1. So our letters, B is at 3, 2, E is at 1, 2, T is at 3, 1, H is at 2, 2, A is at 2, 1, and N is at 1, 1. And that's how we solve the Bethan question on Sparks.